Namaskara. I'm Dr. Sunita Rana Agarwal from Dr. Agarwal Hospitals, 15 Eagle Street, Bangalore 25. And I'm an eye surgeon as well as a genetic surgeon as well as administrating stem cell therapy. Inherited blindness, especially in on the world right now, we're looking at retinitis pigmentosa, especially. This is a blindness which is producing retinal degeneration, whereby we also call this night blindness. So the patient is not able to see effectively and slowly, slowly, slowly the tunnel vision comes and is now able to only see through a tunnel because there is a problem on the rods and cones. Accumulation of pigment occurs here and this kind of closes up the patient's vision. Now how do we select the gene? Retinitis pigmentosa can be caused by more than 200 genes. At Dr. Agarwal hospitals, we are ready to tackle all the 200 genes only because we are using autologous fetal DNA. What does that mean? That means when this child was born, he did not have retinitis pigmentosa. This child usually gets retinitis pigmentosa only by the age of 10. By the age of 20, he becomes blind. By the age of 40, he cannot even see any light. Now, if we can treat him before all this, that means before he cannot see any light at all, we may be able to bring back some amount of vision, which we have already done in the last 15 years with over 20 patients. Now, in US, which is, we have only statistics from United States, there are approximately 1,000 to 2,000 people suffering from retinitis pigmentosa. Here what they have done is they have identified only one gene, RPE65. This gene has got 10,000 base pairs. Its location is on chromosome 1, P arm, the short arm, and on the band 31.3. This 10,000 base pairs, the genetic defect should be biallelic. That means it is coming from both sides, papa and mummy, and now producing the disease. They have chosen only children because they need some amount of healthy retinal tissue. Now they have taken out the defective gene by allelic and put it onto a virus. This is called an AAV virus or an adeno associated virus which we presume is harmless. Now, over this, they have made the medication. This medication is injected in children where there is still retinal health possible and present. That means it is little less than 10 years of age. He has not yet come in effectively to show you that yes, I have retinitis pigmentosa. Investigations have been done far before for him to come up with the by allelic RPE65 mutation. Now we take 0.3 microliters, go sub-retinal with this medication. That means what did we take? RPE65, the good gene, and we put it onto an adenovirus and we are injecting this under the retina. This injection is a one-time process has been used in the University of Michigan because the FDA gave the clearance for this in March of 2019. And this has proved its efficacy in this little area of genetic disorders. And the costing of this is close to 500,000 US dollars to about 850,000 US dollars. This is made by Spark Technologies and it's called Vo-Reti Gene. It's a wonderful step and a great push and shot in the arm for all of us genetic surgeons and stem cell therapists.